Hi, Yoram again, and this time I'm going to show you how you customize your Stream Deck buttons. I'm going to take you through a quick tour and just so that you see what my buttons look like, what my Stream Deck looks like. Uh, I'm going to go into what I use for OBS. And I'm going to show you how I created these icons and what are the options for you. So you can see that the buttons that I've created are a combination. What you see here in this panel, for example, are just logos that I took. Uh, logos of OBS, uh, DCS, Digital Combat Simulator or Flight Simulator. In OBS, what you see here are some of the logos that I actually graphically created. It's really not hard and this is what I'm going to show you how to do. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll create a new button. So right now this button has no function and I'm going to add a source to this button. This is the default for a source. You see that there are two options here. One is for what would this button look like when the source is activated and the other one is what it would look like when it's deactivated. And you can see that in general, the default is it's just that it's lighter. So let's take this one. Maybe you're happy with the default, the only one icon that they have for this button. But if you're not, what I'll do is click on this little down arrow. And here are the two options that I have, set from a file or create a new icon. I'm going to start with uh, set from a file uh, because create new icon is just one level higher than that. If we set for, from a file, I already have created a folder of Stream Deck buttons. And these are all kinds of buttons that I have designed myself. So for example, this would be when uh, scene number two for me is activated. So I'm going to select it, say open, and that's it. That's as far as it goes. It's uh, now you got this button. And of course, if this function is deactivated, it's just going to be darker. Well, I may not be happy with the fact that it's darker. I can actually have two different icons for when it's on and when it's off. So I'm going to go, I'm going to start with when it's on and then I'm going to go to where it's off and select again, set from file. And uh, since we use two, I'm going to use two, but in different colors. So let me bring it up. And this is what happens now. When it's on, it's red. When it's off, it is going to be dark. You didn't see anything changed here because I did not press this button. And I don't want to press this button because then it would actually change my scene in OBS. And I'm using OBS to record this. Okay, so this is the first thing. It just... Uh, whether for it's on or when it's off, you'd set from a file. Now let's do one more step, and that is let's create a new icon. So I'm going to go here, again, I'm going to go to the on first and create a new icon. What happens when you create a new icon is you go to Elgato's website uh, that's called Key Creator, and they have a whole lot of buttons that you can choose from that you can like. Uh, so, for example, how about a Facebook button? So, I'm going to choose Facebook. This is it. I have some options to optimize it. This is a preview of what it's going to look like. But if I'm happy, I'm just going to say Save Key. And where am I going to save it? I'm going to save it in that same directory. Uh, make sure that you give it a name because otherwise the name is just Stream Deck underscore Key. And I'm going to call this one Facebook. Saved. That's it. Let's go back to Stream Deck and this time let's select set from file again because now it is a file on my computer and let's see if it's here. Yes, it is. We chose this and now we have a Facebook, but a Facebook button. I'm going to take it one step further and that is I'm going to actually show you how I create my own buttons uh, with my own graphics. I actually use a tool that's called... I know, never heard of this before, PowerPoint. You can use Photoshop, you can use uh, uh, Paint or any other graphic, uh, graphic uh, uh, program. I'm just using uh, Photoshop. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just using PowerPoint. So for example, I created buttons here for what my backgrounds look like. So I just grabbed a picture. I'm going to do that uh, again here. So I'm going to insert a picture from this device 
And I will go to, uh, for example, I'll go to assets and I'll take one of the pictures that I have in Pixabay. And you know what? Let's take this one or no, let's take this one. I like this one. So I'm going to select this one. This is for project management. We're going to insert it. I got it here. What I will do next is because the, the button is square, I need this to be square. So in other words, first of all, let's make it a little smaller. And now the question is, if I'm fine with white background, let's just give it a white background. So around this button, I'm going to put a square. So let's create a square around it. Uh, when I hold the shift button, I will get an exact square. This, I think, is the right size. Of course, the, the problem is that it's in the background and not in the foreground. So right click, send to back right click oh there you go now i did that oh i like this blue background even better than uh, just making it white now the next thing i do is i highlight let me move the, the rest i highlight both of them you can see that both the image and the button are highlighted i do need it to be square and what i'll do now is right click save i'm sorry right click Let's see why I did that. Oh, I'm sorry. First, Control C. And after I do Control C, I want to save it as a picture. So now I saved it again. It's still here on, on the same computer. Looks the same, but this time it's a picture. It's an image file. Uh, I don't want to try and save this as individual things. Right click, save as picture. I'm going to save it in the same directory uh, as before, and I'm going to call this one uh, project button. Maybe we'll call it stream deck project button. Save it. If I go back to the directory of uh, the buttons, uh, what I will have, and this is important, this is our button that I just created. When you look at it, you see when you hover over it that it says the dimensions are 367 by 369. So it's very close to a square. This is good enough. The size of the buttons, the resolutions of buttons in Stream Deck is 144 by 144. So as long as you're bigger than 144 by 144, you're in good shape. When you get smaller than 144 by 144, then uh, you may get uh, a bit of a pixelation in the image of the button. If your image is too complicated, take for example, example the helicopter here, just keep in mind that the image might not be as clear, you're not gonna see as many details. And we are back here and uh, this time when this is, actually let's create another one, let's create another source. And in this source, I'm going to choose set from file and the button that I have just created is this one and this is what it looks like. Again, when you go off, it, it's going to look the same except that it's going to be a little darker. And it's up to you. You can decide that you're going to put something else. For example, uh, here is another button that I have created, and that's just the X button. So when it is on, you're going to see this. When it's off, you're going to see that. Of course, the problem is that you don't know what button you need to press if all you see is X. Let's go into um, one of the scenes. And in this scene, you can see that I have two. I would always prefer to have just the dark one. It shows me what this button is going to be before I press it. And by the way, for the record button, what I chose is when it's on, it's red, which indicates that it is recording. It says stop and it gives me the stop button. But when it's off, it's dark, but it gives me the uh, red circle and it says start. Uh, so I'll know that when I press it, I'm going to start recording. Maybe the last thing I'm going to show you is I showed you how we created these buttons. And um, those were non-graphic. The buttons that you see here are graphic buttons. So I just created uh, a square. I start with the square. It doesn't matter again what size because we're going to save it as an image. And uh, Stream Deck will bring it at the right resolution. I created these uh, little components here and these components 
essentially uh, constituted the entire uh, the entire button. Here you can see I added the word scene. I have the flexibility that PowerPoint gives me. At the end, just remember that what you want to do is you want to copy this whole thing, highlight the whole thing, control C. I'm going to save as picture. So now it's an image file. Sometimes, uh, especially when you have text, you will see that you need to crop it because there is like this little border around it, which you want to make sure that you eliminate it. But uh, uh, once you've done that, right click on it and save it as a picture and save it in the directory and then upload it. One more thing that I want to show you, if you double click on it, uh, you can go to picture format or just go to picture format. And if you go to color, you can actually play with the colors. So the way that I typically do those uh, images, if I want the dark version of, it, of them, all I do is I take the original version and instead of changing the color in the graphic itself, I just turn it into this. I change the color from here. This is it. This is how you customize. This is how you design and create your own Stream Deck buttons because your Stream Deck buttons are probably going to make a lot more sense for you than anything that you take off the shelf that's created or any of the defaults. This makes it a lot easier when you're under the stress of doing a webinar, delivering a node, and you're looking down at your uh, Stream Deck and you're trying to figure out what exactly this button means. I hope this was helpful. I will see you in the next video. I recorded this video for you based on what currently exists and what I know right now. But things change, new technology, new products, new software versions, new ideas that I get, some of them from viewers like you. If you want to be informed when I release new videos with new or updated content, subscribe to this channel and get notified when I release them. Oh, and you can also like this video. Also, check out my resources for speakers like you who want to do things yourself at thediyspeaker.com.